Do any of you remember that time on Friends when Phoebe realized that the ending of Old Yeller was much different than, than she really thought? Well, that's exactly what we're gonna be talking about in this video and how it affects children. What is up everybody, this is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, I like to pull different topics from movies, TV shows, and try to see what lessons we can learn from them to help improve our own lives. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So yeah, sometimes I like to kick it old school, watch some old TV shows, and in fact, that gives me the perfect segue to introduce our very first sponsor, which is New Air, all right? So not that long ago, New Air reached out to me and offered to send me one of their mini fridges for free. And this is actually the Pepsi and Pete Vintage Edition 126 can beverage fridge. So as you can see, I decided to set this fridge up in my son's room. He is a gamer, as you can see from the Fortnite poster, and he loves to drink a ton of water. We don't really drink soda in our house. So as you can see, it's stocked up with some of his waters, and this makes it super convenient for him while he's gaming. And I keep some of my own drinks in there for when I go join him for a gaming session and I got my own beverages up in there. This mini fridge is awesome. It is extremely roomy and it actually doesn't take up that much space and it has a cool little light in there. So now it kind of doubles as a nightlight for my son as well. But yeah, this thing is awesome. And if you would like to get one of these vintage Pepsi and Pete mini fridges from New Air, they are offering a discount to all the rewired soldiers out there. So make sure you check out down in the description below and get yourself one of these. First ever sponsored ad on The Rewired Soul. Went pretty well, I think. But yeah, let's get to this topic of Phoebe on Friends and how she was shielded as a child. Now, I know throughout the Friends series, this happens multiple times, but for some reason, this is an episode that really sticks out in my head. So all of you who have not seen this episode of Friends, basically, Phoebe walks in, everybody's watching Old Yeller, and she talks about like, what she, you know, what happens at the end? Why is everybody so sad? Something happy happens, right? And they're like, oh no, Phoebe, if that's what you think's gonna happen, you better close your eyes now, right? And she's like, wait, what? And then boom, she sees it. Spoiler, they gotta put Old Yeller down. So what happens is Phoebe realizes that her, her family was cutting off these shows or these movies when the bad endings would happen. So Phoebe goes out, gets all these different movies, and she decides to watch them in their entirety and see what actually happens. And this is something that I think is just really interesting because I'm a parent, I'm a father. I have a 10 year old son, as I mentioned, got that mini fridge in his room. But this is something that a lot of us parents have to, have to look at, right? Like we, I think we don't look as much at the big picture, and we just kind of try to handle things like in little small versions, right? Oh, I wanna shield my child from this, I wanna shield my child from that. But as they grow older, they're going to encounter, you know, hardships. So something that's really interesting is the story of the Buddha, right? So those of you who don't know the background on the Buddha, he was actually a prince, okay? And his father shielded him from all of the awful things, okay? This guy never saw any kind of poverty, any kind of sickness, anything like that. But he knew, he knew there was other stuff going on outside of the palace walls. So he went out there and that's when he was introduced to human suffering, right? And he's like, wait, wait a second, why am I being shielded from this? Because suffering is part of the human experience. And when we look at Phoebe and how, you know, her family was kind of shielding her for that, they were, they were shielding her from something that is pretty much inevitable, right? No matter what happens, and maybe, you know, maybe it's not death for a long time. Like some people are fortunate and they don't have to deal with death until they're much older and they, you know, they've been through some experiences and everything like that. But think about it. There's so many things that happen in life that cause suffering. And especially when you're a child growing up, like friends, right? You're gonna lose friends. You might get in arguments with your friends. Like my son's 10 years old and sometimes we gotta talk through stuff that he's dealing with at school. But also like think about when you're a teenager and you start getting into relationships and your first heartaches. But the other thing is too, and I know friends is set back like in the 90s, right? But today we live in this world of social media. So it's even harder to kind of mask what's going on in the world and present to our child that everything is all unicorn and rainbows everywhere, right? Because they'll come across different things such as news. My son is only 10 and he watches, he watches pretty family friendly YouTubers, but some certain topics come up 
just kind of out of nowhere and he talks to me and I talk to him about him in, in an age appropriate way. Right? Like, for example, I'm a drug addict and alcoholic in recovery. And since my son has been, mm, I don't know, five or six years old, I've been open and honest with him about it, but in a very child appropriate way. All right? I also worked at an addiction treatment center for three years. And he, he thought I worked at like a hospital, which I kind of did because we had inpatient with doctors and nurses and everything like that. But I had those discussions with him. Okay? But I truly believe we as parents or even as a society, we are not doing the younger generation any favors by shielding them from the reality that is life. The argument that I would put out there is that it actually makes children more resilient, but there's a balance that comes to it. So they need to be able to, you know, take in that information, but then we talk to them about it. But then, as you all know, any adult who's been on the internet for more than five minutes no there were some awful awful things on the internet so in my personal parenting opinion i'm not going to say you know like just let your kids run wild let them walk, let them go to the deep dark web of the internet and find these awful things no i do think there should be restrictions and everything like that but things that are happening in life you know they have to be presented with that and i truly believe i truly believe one of the best ways to have early interventions for young people is to have the lines of communication open from as young of an age as possible, right? Just having a child being able to open up to us about their feelings, their thoughts, their emotions, and everything like that. Like, what's fascinating too about this episode of Friends with Phoebe is it was movies, right? It was primarily movies. I remember my son when he was younger, and hopefully he never sees this video because, uh, might be a little embarrassing for him now that he's older. But, but when he was younger, and he still is, but he was really, really empathetic, right? Like, empathetic to like this extreme. Like, this was like a six and seven year old empath, right? And what I mean by that is when we would watch movies, when we would watch movies and a character in that movie experienced sadness, if that uh, character experienced loss or grief, my son would literally start crying. And sometimes we would just be driving home and he would just start crying. And I'm like, what's wrong? He's like, I, I, I was thinking about the character in that movie, right? But we were able to have a conversation about it. We were able to have a conversation about how this is a fictional movie and it is one of the best ways to learn about these things because yes, these things can happen in real life. But what I would try to do with him is pull the positives from that, right? Like not, not make believe that bad things never happen in this life, but point out which characters showed strength and courage, resilience, um, support to other people in their lives, right? If, if a child went through something, talk to him about how their parents stepped in and were there for the child and how they had that support. You see what I mean? But my suggestion to all of you, if you are a parent with a, a child like mine used to be, which was extremely empathetic, is teach them what I like, kind of like what I do on this channel, is how can you take these feelings and turn it into something positive in your real life, right? So my son and I would figure out ways for him to do kind things for other people and to be there for other people. Um, just a year or two ago, he saw that movie Wonder that came out and he felt really bad for that kid and we had a conversation about it. So the solution to that was being there for other kids who might be getting bullied or picked on because they're different. Right? So now my son, you know, he tries to befriend those kids and have conversations. And that's what I think we should do. Rather than trying to shield them, especially when it comes to like movies and TV shows that are like, you know, age appropriate, is try to teach them what lessons that they can pull from them that they can apply in their actual life. All right, but let me know your thoughts on this topic down in the comment section below. Um, when you were a child, did your parents shield you from certain things? How did that affect you as you got older? Or are you a parent now? What are your thoughts and opinions on this subject, all right? But again, thank you so much to New Air for sponsoring this video. And if you would like to get yourself one of these awesome 
Pepsi and Pete mini fridges. Check out the description down below. There is a coupon code as well as a link to get one of these things yourself. All right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to become a patron, you can click or tap right there. All right? Thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.